What's up guys? I'm back out here fishing again. My favorite thing to do. And uh, coming back out here to a place that I don't fish too often. But when I do, I usually end up catching one, maybe two fish at a time. So today I got a few hours to spend before it gets dark. It's pretty cool out here, right around 50 degrees. So I'm already bundled up. Let's see what we could get on, so stay tuned. Alright guys, hopefully we got some bass in the area, see something bubbling right there, I don't know what that is, hmm. hopefully we get some fish on, it got cold quick here too, real cold. The other night it was about 39, which was the coldest it's been in a while. I don't know how deep it is here. Maybe it's like two or three feet deep. There we go. Well, how about that, guys? How about that? That is a nice bass. I was just dragging it on the bottom and I felt this thing hit it a few times. It's got some very sharp teeth. Look at that. Nice. Ooh. Easy there, guy. Easy there. It's got very sharp teeth. Look at that. First Texas rig bass of the day. Off of this new worm here, American Tackle. Uh, I think it's a uh, finesse worm, like a trick worm style. Nice. Tail's a little beat up. They're feeding up for the pre-spawn. This pre-spawn activity going on. Nice. There you go, guys. Got a little flipping set right here. Quarter ounce Wu Tungsten, everything set up, and a little American Tackle stick worm here. Or not stick worm, but finesse worm. Pretty nice, nice catch. It's about a two pounder here. Nice. So, this is basically how I have my setup. I got a four. Yeah, I think it's a 4 aught EWG, or no, it's a 3 aught EWG hook. Little 6 inch worm, watermelon red flake. And I have this spaced apart so that way I could do that when I'm on the bottom. Let's catch another one, guys. Come on, give me a fish. Where are you, fishy, fishy, fishy?
Gotta be a bass over here hunting in the pads. Has to be. Just has to be. Come on, come on. I want another bass, man. Parked way over there. Caught the first bass right over there. Went along the bridge or whatever, the walk. Came all the way down here. This right here is the furthest I've ever been coming into this area. I've caught bass along this edge here. Most of them Texas rig. Oh man, it's getting a little cold. Colder by the minute. Got about an hour of daylight, hour of fishing left to do. Not really getting much action here in this spot. Like I said before, usually most times I come here, I usually get one to two fish. And that's it. But again, I've never really fished this area. Usually I only spend about an hour here. So one to two fish in an hour ain't too bad. But I was kind of hoping to get more being out here for a few hours. Already out here going on two hours right now and, and I'm gonna try one last time on this catwalk here see if we can get any bites all right guys at the second and final stop all right let's get some fish on little guy oh that guy is clear as day look how pale this guy is little guy too white bass right here <laughs> that is the whitest bass I've ever seen Wow. 
All right. Well, we got two bass on the board for the day. Hmm. Man, not really getting much action here today. But it's cool, man. I still got two on the board. So not too shabby. First one was a nice two pounder. Off of this cool looking rig right here. I actually broke off on the other one. That snagged on a tree limb. So lost a tungsten some weight right there and a bead and a nice hook. Gamagatsu hook. But you know, that's how it is sometimes. I haven't got anything off of that live target spinner bait. You know, sometimes it's a, a gold mine, sometimes it's not. But probably going to fish here for another 10 minutes. See if I could get one more. Woo, it's getting a little cold. Six o'clock right now. Sun is almost gone. And I still haven't caught me a third fish. I wasn't sure. Originally, I was not going to fish today. But I got the bug, so I got out of brown. I think 2.30, I believe. I don't know. Oh, wow. I did not know this guy was here. There's a little gator right there. <laughs> little guy. It's probably, what, about a two-footer? Oh, it's getting too cold for me now. Oof. My ears are starting to freeze. Well, guys, that was my day trying out that new finesse worm by American Tackle. Pretty cool color. Awesome color, actually. One of the top colors. Watermelon Red Plate. Uh, I actually got a 15 pack of these right here. So, nice little package for about like five, six bucks. Can't beat that about six inches and uh, great to use for wacky rig and Texas rig which Texas rig is uh, one of my favorite ways to fish for bass um, all these bass that no well these two bass that bit today just a bite on them they were just it, it took them a while to fully take the a bait uh, if you look back in the video you can see the line twitching a lot before I set the hook because, you know, I just didn't feel like they were taking the bait fully, like aggressively. So I kind of figured out that I'm going to have a hard bite today. It's going, and, and when I do get a bite, i got to really be methodical about how I set the hook. But it was cool. Caught a couple bass on these new baits. If you guys are interested in want to get some of these or check it out, go to uh, National Pro Staff. Dot com and go into their shop look up American Tackle and you can find these and also um, a bunch of other baits too and cool gear for uh, all your fishing needs you know I got quite a bit of stuff from them so pretty awesome stuff but uh, before I end this video I was actually out at this uh, the first spot I was out I was there yesterday uh, fishing for about an hour only managed to catch one bass, but it was off of that uh, live target spinner bait. I changed up the uh, trailers, so go ahead and check this little uh, catch out. Same conditions, pretty much. Very finicky bass, and uh, that area is really tough. I actually met another angler on my way out of there, and uh, he told me he's caught a couple nice ones out of there, but he says the bite is really tough there. So that kind of explains why I'm always getting, you know, one or two fish at a time. But guys, check this out. And after that, that's it. Until next time, tight lines. And keep fishing. Check you on the next one. Oh yeah, I got one. 
Oh man, this thing was hiding in the grass right there. Dang, easy there, guy. You ain't going nowhere. All right, first bass. Looks like a small mouth almost. Not really though, but pretty cool. First bass of the day. Little darky guy, so it kind of tells me they're hiding up in the cover. Bass is really cold too. There we go. First one off of this white color pattern here. Nice. All right, guy. Thank you.